Hello, and welcome to another episode of Credit Matters TV. My name is Zilan Chen, and I'm a director in the Structured Credit Group. With me today are two colleagues, Jing Xie and Deborah Newman, both directors in the Structured Credit Group. Today, we're here to talk about some recent transactions that we've rated. S&P has recently rated a whole business securitization for driven brands. The transaction is backed primarily by franchise royalty payments paid by the various franchisees within the Driven Brand system, which includes Mako, Meineke, and 1-800-Radiators. This transaction is different than some of the typical whole business securitizations that we've rated to date, which are mostly focused on restaurants. This includes the Duncan Brands and Wendy's, both of which were rated earlier this year. Driven Brands operates in the automotive aftermarket, focusing on products and services in paint collision and repair and maintenance. The auto aftermarket industry is considered to be less cyclical, which coupled with the business risk profile for the company, as well as the high franchise nature of the business, are some of the key factors which we considered in rating this transaction. S&P recently rated Diamond Head Aviation to some 15 Limited. There are a few differences between this deal and the other recently rated aircraft securitization transactions. Firstly, the aircraft portfolio is much older, with a weighted average life of 16.5 years. Midlife and the older aircraft tend to have higher value retention risk, less efficient technologies, and limited releasing opportunities. Secondly, this transaction schedule amortization is calculated on an aircraft by aircraft basis. Each aircraft has a straight line amortization to zero for a period between four to ten years. Thirdly, the leverage of this transaction is relatively lower, with the A rated class having 53% LTV and the triple B rated class having 70% LTV. We recently rated Access Point Funding 1 under our small business loan back securitization criteria. The $183 million transaction, which consists of four classes of fixed rate notes rated single A minus, triple B, double B, and single B, differs from other small business securitizations recently rated. In this case, the collateral consists of loans to franchisees of major hotel brands and are designed to support brand mandated renovation projects of furniture, fixture, and equipment. A failure of franchisees to make such improvements could result in losing the brand flag. The loans are typically structured with an interest-only period for the first 18 months to cover the renovation period and thereafter pay pursuant to a straight-line amortization. The weighted average interest-only period among the transaction collateral was approximately three months at closing. Unlike some of the more traditional, traditional small business securitizations which we have rated, which typically comprise loans across numerous sectors, all of the loans are concentrated in the hotel industry. The single concentration industry risk is mitigated by historical data, which has proven that defaults among small businesses generally occur based on geographic region rather than industry. Other mitigants include a reserve account, which was funded at closing with an amount equal to 1% of the initial collateral balance and must be maintained throughout the transaction. Amounts in the reserve account may be used to pay interest in principal to the extent available funds are not sufficient to reduce the note balance to amount equal to the pool balance. In addition, we did not assign any recovery credit to the loans in the pool. Interest in principal on the notes is paid under separate priority of payments. However, interest collections may be used to pay principal on the notes to the extent there are any losses on the collateral and to pay down the notes if a trigger event has occurred. The Class B, C, and D notes are deferrable. Thank you for joining us 